everyone, Sasha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing the McCart July 2023 subscription box with you guys. I actually stumbled upon this and you guys know I love sharing subscription boxes with you because I think it's such a great way to try new products, uh, try new nail art techniques, especially um, maybe it's a brand you've never tried before. So if you'd like to see more in regards to what was included in this box, stay tuned. <laughs> back with a subscription box for you guys i have not shared a subscription box on my channel in god knows how long i've been wanting to okay and to be i said i would try the mccart subscription box this one is called your nail lab now the only thing about this is when i first placed my order i think i did it in july yeah i did it sometime in july it comes from the states McCart shipping from the states on their products alone for me because i'm in canada is ridiculous but i do want to try their products so i gotta figure out a way around that but this now was its own like independent website and you could have ordered it from there but now they've changed it back to the McCart website and it's supposed to be a seasonal every four months i think it was subscription box but now i can't find it on their website so i'm still gonna share this with you guys i will keep looking to see if it's gonna be coming back onto their website if it does great i will keep this as a um thing going on my channel for subscription boxes i'm also looking into other ones because i actually personally do like subscription boxes and the few subscription box videos i've posted you guys seem to like too so if you know any subscription boxes that you'd like me to subscribe to in terms of nail art, beauty, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And I will look into it and try and get that on my channel for you. Now, let's get into it. So in this subscription box, you get eight items. This was already out of the box. I haven't opened the box. I was waiting to share with you guys. So you could get guys could get like my first and true impressions. So far, I'm liking it because you do get eight items. And I think I paid 35 US or so roughly about 40 something Canadian. Actually, no, I think it's seven items. And this was a free gift with it, which again, I'm not complaining because it is glitter. And look at how much you get in here. Okay, let me open these up and we'll go through them individually so the first item is this nail extension gel i'm gonna assume that this is a poly gel so this one is called freesia it looks like it's gonna be a very beautiful pink if i'm not mistaken i do think that this actually is a poly gel oh yeah it is a poly gel my camera's picking it up more of orange but it really is like i don't know if you guys can see that okay there it's that kind of like jelly pink i actually do don't have poly gel stuff so maybe i'll even look into that for you guys and share those with you but this one is like a very pretty pink this one is called vip and i want to say it's maybe like a see-through peachy color and this is what it looks like out of the packaging Ooh, this is more of like a nudie type pink again my camera does not want to focus on the true color there we go so that's the color there for you guys. And the last poly gel that I received in the subscription box is called Daydream. So this one definitely seems like it has more of a peachy undertone to it than the first one for sure. Have you guys ever used poly gel? What are your thoughts about it? I've heard like good things about it maybe i will actually get some poly gel items and review them for you because i'm more of a hard gel builder gel nail tech so yeah <laughs> i mean i do acrylic here and there but i technically mostly do gel but let me know what do you think so these are the three poly gels that came in the subscription box they're each 30 milliliters i feel like that's a decent size again i've never used poly gel so i'm not 100 percent sure what the correct like amount is or what's a good amount so you guys let me know what do you guys think should i start getting poly gel items and reviewing them on my channel for you guys let me know down below 
Have you used Mark Hart's products before? Like, this is literally my first time trying anything from them. I know they have an Amazon store, but I find that the Amazon storefront doesn't have a lot of the same things on the website that you can find on their website. So I will get what I can from Amazon from now, for now, but I guess after I'll have to figure out um, in terms of getting it off their website because that shipping board to, to Canada is something else. <laughs> okay, so up next, I'll be sharing the three gel polishes and the one nail liner that I got with you guys. I'm already excited for this because this looks like a hollow, but I'm also excited for this because this looks like it's going to be a gorgeous fall color. And you guys know my love-hate relationship with pink, so I don't know how I feel about this yet. So let's take a look. And for those of you that like to see, I did do my nails. I actually wasn't going to share them because I didn't really like how they came out too tough, but then they kind of grew on me. So here it is. Let me know what you guys think. I was actually going to call this like my final summer set, but my girlfriend was like, no, do one more because you never know. Because up here again, like I said, we can get like just before fall we usually get a random heat wave in toronto it never fails so i don't know if that's gonna happen this year but yes 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 let me know guys okay so the first gel polish i will be sharing is called cardinal moon Ooh, yes this is a stunning gel polish oh my gosh well the color i don't know the formula because i haven't tried it <laughs> But this definitely is beautiful. My camera's making it out to be a bit brighter than it is. It is maybe a shade darker than it is showing up on camera. And here we have Cardinal Moon. So this is a really nice first coat. As you can see, there is a bit of sparseness, so I am definitely going to go in with a second coat, but I don't see why this wouldn't be full coverage with a second coat. Don't be surprised when you guys see me wearing this for fall, because this is stunning. And here we have Cardinal Moon in two coats. So as I said, it really did need that second coat to be fully opaque such a stunning color and here we have cardinal moon against my skin tone very very beautiful fall color expect to see it on my nails and i know a few clients Ooh, one in particular i know she's gonna love this as well so up next the second polish is a galaxy and just from the label alone i can tell that this is gonna be a fun hollow <gasps> Yes, oh my god, guys, look at this. Okay, I'm here. I'm absolutely here for it. I mean, jeez. Oh, I think I'm going to use this for my birthday nails along with the purple because why not? Purple is my favorite color. But look at how beautiful that is. Let's see if I can zoom in on this bad boy because... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And here we have Galaxy with the first coat. This could actually be used as a top or two just because of how sheer it is. Oh, this is beautiful. Definitely going to go in with a second coat and see if I can build it up to full opacity though. And here we have Galaxy. Oh gosh, guys. This is so amazing. It'd also be great for Christmas time. It'd also be great for Valentine's. It'd also be great for like Halloween and doing some like maybe some black Halloween stamping. Look, possibilities are endless with colors like this. You know, I'm not even joking. But this is it, like two coats again. Yeah, I got a little bit of Cardinal Moon on here when it was um, in my lamp. <laughs> so just ignore that. But yes, this is such a stunning hollow. And here we have it against my skin tone. And even though I've got like the chrome stamping nailer on this thumb, it's pretty opaque, guys. Like, 
I have no complaints. The third gel I'll be sharing with you is called Lemon Drops. This one technically is a liner. I don't own many liners, but I did say I'm going to invest in them and practice my freehand art a bit more because I can't draw to save my life. But thank God for stamping. <gasps> oh my God, it's a glitter liner. I wasn't expecting that, guys. Although I should have because technically it had like the label looks like it has some glitter Ooh, this is beautiful too is such a beautiful color and i don't like like yellows and oranges like that and this has like a yellowy it's more of like a golden yellow but look at how beautiful that is i couldn't decide what to do so i just did <laughs> um like half the nail like this because i was like i can't draw and i didn't know what i was gonna do to start so i just figured i'd share it with you guys like this but i promise you i couldn't get a nice line like this if i was using a brush like a regular gel brush or so this this liner brush i will say i like it so far not sure about doing like swirls and stuff like that because again i have to practice with it but i like it so far i will say that and here is a lemon drop so you guys know i usually don't do the colors on top of the swatch just like this i usually do it underneath but because it was a liner and not like a gel polish i figured i would do it on top and then just put some top coat on it quickly still very nice so like for example if it was like anyways you guys get what i mean like this this would make more sense if i showed it this way if my camera would focus yeah so just pretend <laughs> But yes, guys, it's a very stunning gel liner. And honestly, just from the brush alone, I'm already thinking and really contemplating about getting some more gel liners from McCart because I'm very impressed with this one. I will say that. And the last gel polish I have to share with you is called Sneaking Out. And this seems like it's also going to have some type of glitter in it. Ooh. And it's a jelly, okay. I wasn't expecting it to be a jelly. And here is sneaking out with the first coat. Such a beautiful, subtle color. Do remember, like I said, this is a jelly, so it's jelly polishes whether it's regular nail polish or gel polish you're not gonna get like a super pigmented opaque look it is meant to be sheer like this and you can build it up if you want but even when you do build it do keep in mind that it's not gonna be fully opaque and last but not least here is sneaking out so again, you see, even though it is a jelly, it's still built nicely, but it's still slightly, um, it's not as opaque compared to like a solid color or like Galaxy, for example, or Cardinal Moon. Sorry, Cardinal Maroon. Why the hell was I calling it Cardinal Moon? Guys, the color's name is Cardinal Maroon, not Cardinal Moon. <laughs> Lordy. But yes, very, very nice. It gives me like Barbie pink vibes. This would have been a perfect color to wear to go see the Barbie movie. And here we have sneaking out against my skin tone. So again, because it is a jelly, yes, you can see the design on my nail underneath, but that is expected. And last thing that I have to share with you is this stunning glitter. Guys, look at this. This is called... Triton. Ooh, Triton. King Triton. Mm. <laughs> it was actually like a free gift with purchase kind of thing. So it came... I'm not sure if this was supposed to be part of the box, but definitely got it. I have no complaints. And look at it, guys. Oh. Look at that. Definitely like a teal aquamarine, 
there's some hollow shift to it we've got the large hex glitters i'm seeing some smaller hex glitters i'm also seeing like some fine glitter as well <laughs> have a triton such a stunning color guys it is so pretty and i love the way like it bounces off of the light and here is triton against my skin tone again very beautiful color for this time of year but it also i guarantee will work come like fall and winter and here we have it for the McCart July 2023 subscription nail box. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I mean, I would love to continue this for you guys, but I'm not seeing it on the website. I will keep checking because if it does come back, I will definitely keep it as something going on my channel. But I will also look into and look for other subscription boxes as well i really do think that the items that you get and the price you pay for the box is totally worth it and of course it's mccart items and i've always heard nothing but good things about mccart for this being my first time i will say i'm actually impressed with the items that i do have i don't have any complaints and the fact that i even got a free glitter who's gonna complain about that who does not love glitter if you don't love glitter, sorry for you, but we love glitter over here, okay? Because the more glitter, the better. I do wish I did have the poly gel, like, slip solution and a brush for that, so I could at least try that poly gel with you. But what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to look into getting some slip solution. Although I've heard that you can use alcohol as long as it's what more than 70 percent if i'm not mistaken but i will look into that and then maybe actually give you guys like a real thought and feedback in regards to that because unfortunately i don't have those things to share that with you and if you'd like me to do like more poly gel reviews i will definitely do that but as always guys let me know what your thoughts are in this down below as always guys thank you so much for sticking with me tuning into my videos please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you know anyone that would be interested in something like this go ahead and give it a share and as always make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified when i do post more content and until next time stay glamorous